Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm gonna to show you how to mount a pre-painted body. Well guys, before we get too much further, I just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. And if this does benefit you in some way, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription, that would really help me out. Now what you see in front of you is a Proline body and a Traxxas Bandit converted into a drag slash. Now this body needs to be mounted on this vehicle and this video will help you get that process done. The tools that you'll need for this will be of course a body reamer to punch your holes and be very careful as these tools are very sharp. You'll also need a paint brush and you'll need some kind of paint that is a different color than the body is painted. So I'm using black in this case and you'll need some kind of rag or paper towel for cleanup. You'll of course need your body and you'll need your chassis that you're gonna be doing your mounting. Now this chassis does have the Proline body mounts, so we'll be drilling smaller holes than normal here. Now our first step is of course to open our paint and we'll have our paintbrush handy. Our paintbrush will have our black paint on it and we will paint just the tops of our body posts. We want it with acrylic paints, they will dry pretty quickly, so you want to be pretty generous with the amount of paint that you're putting on your posts. Then we'll grab our body here, being careful not to set this down on top of our paint just yet. And we want to take our time lining up the body itself. So we want to make sure that we're lined up left to right, we're lined up in the wheel wells themselves. And really take your time here. Make sure that everything is properly aligned before you set this down. Now once it's all aligned up, you would simply set your body down on top of that paint. The more time you take setting this up, the better it's gonna look when you're done. So now set this down gently on top of your post and kind of give it a little bit of a push. Once you flip this over, you'll notice that there are two marks where your body posts were, and that will tell you exactly where to drill. Now we'll take our body reamer here and we will give a little bit of a poke through the body here. and do the same on the other side. Being careful not to stab yourself in the hands with your body reamer. Now that those are poked, take your rag and do just a little dab here, just a little dab. You don't wanna wipe because you'll wipe paint across the body and that can affect how your body looks if you have color bleed. Now we'll set this aside and we'll clean up the tops of our post before this paint dries. And then continue drilling our body. We'll drill a little on this side and then we'll go to the other side and finish out our drill. So we'll flip this side over here. And as I mentioned, we'll finish drilling out. And we do want to check our fit from time to time to make sure that we are not drilling our hole too large. We're not quite there yet, so let's finish. Let's keep drilling out a little larger. And so we're getting pretty close to the size that we're going to use. And we're just gonna flip this body over and finish the drill out on the bottom. Now the reason that you'll wanna flip this back and forth is the pressure from you drilling when you're pushing will bow the body in and you'll kinda of distort the look of your body. So working a little on both sides is really what you wanna to do to prevent that bowing. 
And we'll go just a tad bit larger. Now we have a good fit on the front end. Now we can do the back. Now we'll do the same as we did before with our paintbrush here and put a generous coating of paint on top of our body posts. This time it will be easier because the front posts are already drilled. So we'll line up our front posts and we'll just gently set this on top of our body here, being careful to align it so that it is even from left to right. Once we flip over our body here, we'll have our marks once again. Now you see these marks are kind of lines instead of actual dots, so we're not real sure where to put that line. So we'll need to do this again because I set the body down before I had it aligned from left to right just as we did in the front end. We don't want to do too much wiping here. <clears throat> we'll put another little bit of paint on our posts. This time we'll align this properly before we set it down. trouble finding those um, posts there. There we are. So this time, like I said, take your time to align it left to right, making sure that your spacing is about even before you set this down on top of your posts. Just as before, put a little pressure right there. Flip this over and you see we have dots to show us exactly where to drill this time. Just as before, we'll poke a little holes before doing a little cleanup. Now as a little bit of a pro tip, if you get your body reamer and you take your body reamer, set it down in the hole that you drilled before and take a little piece of blue painter's tape, you can mark on the body reamer where your tape line or where your, um, your, your whole plunge depth is. So this will make it a whole lot easier for you to know exactly when to stop drilling because you have a depth gauge in this tape. So now we can start drilling these back posts using our guide hole that we had from before and cutting almost down to our plunge depth on our, little, on our little tape gauge there. Before flipping over to finish the drill. Now that those are all cut, we can test our fit here and see how we did. Now that the body is set at its proper ride height, you can see that we did really well mounting up the rear tire. And if we move to the front end, you see the front tire sits just a little bit forward. So it looks like the wheelbase of the chassis doesn't quite line up with the wheelbase of the body. But that is okay, we can take a pair of scissors and do a little trimming on this edge if you like. But you'll notice that there is no clearance issues when the wheels turn. So this body could be a fit just the way that it is. Looking at the rear end of the car, you can see how well the wheels line up from left to right. And this is part of taking your time so that everything lines up properly. And the same thing in the front end as well, looking from left to right, they're pretty even spaced. So this is examples of really taking your time and properly aligning things up. 
Well guys, as we wrap up this video, I hope you can see how easy it is to mount a pre-painted body. And if you benefited from this video in any way, please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. And as always, I do recommend hitting that bell. If you don't hit that bell, you're not getting notified when the new content goes up. So make sure you go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Well, that'll wrap it up for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one.